Then we're going to mount the Uno. You only want to use three M320 screws. I'm going to use these bottom three. I guess they decided not to use the top one for whatever reason. Or does that even line up for the top one? Yeah. But they decided not to. Um, now they don't say anything about washers or nuts on the other side of this. The instructions don't mention using M3 nuts on the back side of these M320 screws. But, M3, there were only three left. And so I'm going to wager that that's where they go. Now most of you sliding the Y table forward. You can see on the back side here where the three screws are sticking out. So put the M3 nuts on there. Probably a lot of you will, this, this will be the final mounting that you do for your UNO board. Um, I'm going to mount mine here just until I get the wiring run and, you know, get the initial, you know, I want to get everything working. I want to make sure there aren't any issues because I've kind of, I've kind of, uh, been dragging my feet on the beginning of the assembly on this. And so, um, I think I've had it for at least 30 days now, possibly 40 days. And there's 90 day warranty on these, on this stuff, especially the electronics. And so I want to just get it together and get it working before that 90 day warranty runs out in case, you know, in case I need to use the warranty. Otherwise this may have taken me longer to build. But what I'm getting at is uh, this is a temporary place for me to mount my Uno. So I'm gonna, you don't want to tighten these down very far because you don't want to, you don't want to tweak the Uno board. Just snug them down; it'll be fine. Just snug them down enough so that when the machine is running and vibrating, it's not going to vibrate loose. Um, I would have used plastic or nylon screws to mount this, but these should be fine. And I would have used standoffs, but again, this should be fine for most of you. But I'm going to do something different with this and mount this and the speed control for the um, spindle in a separate box. Um, but this is this is good for now. This will do for now. And so you got that mounted. And then here's our stepper motor driver board from the previous step. And I'm going to mount it again, being careful to line up all the pins. You don't want to bend or break any pins. That should go in pretty straightforward. And so that's it. Now that's mounted. What I'm doing now is mounting this 3D printed standoff right there above where the UNO board goes. And that'll be a standoff for the cooling fan that'll sit right atop this to keep these drivers cool because this is a 24 volt board here and uh, those stepper motor drivers could get a little bit warm that's why they have the little heat sinks on them but they've included a fan also to aid with cooling One thing they didn't do is they didn't allow for, they didn't put holes here. They didn't put holes for these screws to begin, these mounting screws for the standoff. So I'm just drilling a little pilot hole just to give the wood screw something to bite into. Out a little bit, and basically, I'll get this one started and then 
drill a hole for the other side and get it started. Pressure on that to get that to start threading in. But apparently not all millwrights get this 3D printed fan bracket. So if yours doesn't have it, according to the assembly manual, don't consider it as missing. So it's basically a, it's an extra. If you get one, great, you're ahead of the game. If you don't, if you don't get one, shut the fuck up. It wasn't included in the, <laughs> it wasn't included in the original price or spec for the machine. So if you get one, it's a bonus. If you don't get one, shut up about it. Uh, but not seriously, you, you do need to mount that cooling fan. Um, like I said, this this is not the best mounting place for this Arduino with the stepper motor driver board. You should mount it in a separate box, I believe. And there's a guy on the uh, Millwright CNC forums I'll put a link to it down in the description, who sells a nice little box for this and the speed control and it has a pause button and a resume button. Nice little box. It includes a chain, uh, a cable chain, I believe it's called, and a few other nice additions for this. Big head in the way. And I think it's like 50 bucks. If I'm wrong and it's not 50 bucks, you will see a graphic popping up on the screen right now telling you that I'm wrong and telling you what the actual price is. Anyway, here's the cooling fan thing included with it. Standard, standard little brushless AC cooling fan. I'm not sure which way is which. I think this blows that way, but I'm not sure. But anyway, it'll mount. This is made to mount to that. Um, with it mounted like that, that might hit the table. I might have to move that up a little bit. I'm not going to mount it permanently just yet. Because I'm not ready to. Well, I'm not ready to. That's why. It's the only reason I owe you guys. Because I'm not ready to. I just want to temporarily fit it up here. You know, to get a feel for where things are going to go once it becomes permanent. So I have to do the wiring, get that involved in there too. But yeah, this is probably, I'm guessing, a 24 volt fan, so that'll plug right into the 24 volt power coming in, maybe. So that as soon as power is applied to the board, the fan turns on. But anyway, there's the fan installed. Um, next, it's going to be running the wires for the individual motors and strain relieving and tying them out of the way. And at that point, we're ready to fire it up initially, connect it to the computer and see if the motors are, basically if they're wired correctly and, and to do an initial run on the motors, which is next. <laughs>